Brad Kearns here, talk about sprinting. There's nothing like sprinting. It's the ultimate primal workout, the ultimate boost of anti-aging hormones, and also if you're looking at reducing excess body fat, there's nothing better than weight-bearing sprinting. But today I'm gonna to show you a really simple, effective running sprint workout you can use the same philosophy into whatever activity you're doing, but this honors the latest, greatest breakthroughs in exercise physiology. Special shout out to Dr. Craig Marker at breakingmuscle.com and his transformative article, HIT versus HURT. HURT stands for High Intensity Repeat Training. We know what HIT stands for, High Intensity Interval Training. It's the latest, greatest fitness rage. But here's the thing about a classic interval workout, is that you're being asked to output over and over at a high level with insufficient rest. So it turns into a very difficult workout. So you'll see people in a group exercise bicycle class doing 10 sprints of 30 seconds with 10 seconds rest or 10 one minute sprints or whatever's going on. People running around the track at track workout doing four 800s or all kinds of things where the duration of the sprint can get too long such that you're not really delivering a maximum explosive effort. So when we talk about sprinting, the proper use of the term sprinting, I'm talking about a workout that's truly explosive and stimulates that wonderful pulse of anti-aging hormones, testosterone, growth hormone, helping you build back stronger and more resilient without the risk of breakdown, burnout, illness, and injury that happens when you get into a hit pattern, when you do these workouts too frequently, when the duration is too long of the effort such that you're no longer sprinting, you're just trying to hang on, and when you're not recovering enough in between the efforts. So if we talk about high intensity repeat training, the word repeat means that you're delivering a very nice explosive performance every time because you are taking what Dr. Marker calls luxurious rest intervals. I've modified my own sprint workout that I've been doing for over a decade after being exposed to this philosophy because what I was doing was trying to come here and be the tough guy, the ex-pro triathlete with all this endurance and I'd do my sprint and then I'd rest for like 15 seconds and I'd be like, all right, bring it on, let's go for another one. And of course I could do it and I could do it just fine and I could hit the same time. But guess what happened 36 to 48 hours later? I felt lousy. I'm in the kitchen looking around for something to eat, trying to adhere to the ketogenic diet or whatever my goals are. They go off the rails when you've depleted yourself because your brain is telling you to consume more carbohydrates, to rest more, be lazier throughout the day because you've exhausted yourself at these depleting workouts. So you want to get away from the depleting, exhaustive workouts and be strong and explosive. What does that mean? That means the duration of your sprints get taken down to this magic window of between 10 and 20 seconds. The body cannot deliver maximum output for longer than 20 seconds. What's happening if you ask your body to sprint beyond 20 seconds is you will ensue this very destructive cellular breakdown process to fuel this inferno to give you the energy to keep going, to try and keep going. It's called disassembling and deamination of the cellular proteins. You're trashing your cells just so you can make it one lap around the track or three quarters or whatever the duration of your sprint that's too long. So the characteristics of an excellent sprint workout. The efforts are brief in duration and highly explosive, between 10 and 20 seconds. Luxurious rest intervals. In my case, I'm going to sprint for 10 and rest for a minute, and then of appropriate number that you're not getting tired and broken down. So I can do eight if you want to start with four, six, whatever. But guess what? If you're thinking that you can do 12 or 14, it's not about volume. This is a sprint workout. So it's about super high quality explosive efforts and feeling great 36 to 48 hours later. So let's get it right. Let's get it explosive and then go home while you're still feeling peppy and energized because you made four great efforts or six or eight. Here we go. Runners, take your marks. Set, go! Felt pretty good. Uh, I talked about the number of sprints to do and how I usually do eight, but at a certain point late in the workout, you're gonna feel that Maybe you haven't exactly repeated that awesome effort for the first one, and that's the time to end the workout. We don't wanna suffer through 
our last couple of reps, they all want to be great. So I usually get eight great ones in, especially when I shorten the duration down to that magic window of 10 to 20 seconds. Try it yourself. It's all about being explosive, delivering the proper hormonal message for anti-aging, fitness, performance, weight loss. Sprinting is happening.